don't realize that what we do to the wildlife and mother nature is coming back to haunt us indirectly. I'll give you a quick example. In 2013, in the African country called Kenya, where I used to live for three and a half, four years, there was a major terror blast in the mall. A terrorist organization called Al-Shabaab claimed responsibility. And they are directly connected with Al-Qaeda. And this terror organization called Al-Shabaab, it got its money by killing the elephants, using their tusks, and selling the tusks to China, to Vietnam, to all of these Asiatic countries, Asian countries, and making that money to create weapons to destroy human beings. I mean, can you believe that's what is going on in the big, when you consider the bigger picture, that is what is happening. And so what is also equally important, aside from realizing that, that wildlife crime is not only impacting us human beings through the terror attacks, the ecological significance of these supremely intelligent animals called elephants that I love so much. You all love elephants. Who doesn't love elephants? And I think for me, um, you know, what is really bothersome is I was born and raised in Palakkad in Perimbalu. And my grandma and grandpa used to take me to this amazing temple called Barakat Bhagavati. And there they had a pomban. And when I was a little baby, I started crying. When I was three months old, or three years old, my grandparents used to take me to see this beautiful animal. And the mahouts, they didn't even bother. They said, they two are friends, that this elephant will do nothing to her. And the elephant and I would play when I was three years old. And now, so many decades later, I used to ask my grandmother, Ma, why, why do elephants have shackles on their legs? Why are they wearing chains? Why are there no chains on my leg? That's what I used to ask my grandma when I was three years old. And here I am, so many decades later, fighting for the elephants, trying to make, give him freedom. Freedom is the absolute basic birthright of every single living being on the planet. Can you imagine being deprived the basic necessities of life? Food, water, mating. Can you imagine? These are the basic necessities of life. And these elephants are being deprived of that. 